Okay, now let's take this bit of knowledge and apply it to something that we talked about mm, three weeks ago. Suppose I give you a graph and ask you, is it an interval graph? Is the graph an interval graph? This problem is in NP because if someone says yes, all they have to do is give the interval representation. The referee takes the data file for the graph and takes the interval representation and one by one checks for two vertices if they form an edge, do their intervals overlap? Yes or no? Check it for all pairs. And if it's an accurate representation and captures all of the adjacencies and doesn't have any overlap when you're not supposed to be adjacent, then the certificate is valid. But you never have to explain how you got it. Well, now we're going to settle that. We're going to explain how to do it. This is going to be an implementable and efficient algorithm. And at the end of the day, it means that the question, is G an interval graph, is a question in the class P. It admits a polynomial time algorithm. And so you have a verifiable certificate for both a yes answer and a no answer. OK, now how do we do it? We've learned two algorithms, and we combine them. You're given a graph, and you want to know whether or not it is an interval graph. The first thing you do is take the complement of the graph, replace edges by non-edges, call that graph H. You test H to see if it's a comparability graph. In other words, that's the algorithm about the transitive orientation. That's the V rule, the P3 rule. You apply that algorithm to see whether or not the complement is a comparability graph. If no, if no, then your question is resolved, and the given graph is not an interval graph. And that's obvious, because if you have an interval graph, if someone could find it, where intervals like this means not adjacent, when I take the complement, they are adjacent. That's a comparability in an interval order. So when you have an interval graph, the complement is a comparability graph of an interval order. <coughs> So if the complement is not a comparability graph, the answer is no. And you can provide to the boss this certificate. Here's the set of steps that you take. And this forces this, 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 and that makes this edge go this way and this way. So it's not a comparability graph. End of story. It's not a comparability graph. And the complement is not an interval graph. End of story. Now, this algorithm is a little bit more subtle because when you run the first test and you ask, is the complement a comparability graph, the answer might turn out to be yes, and then you're only halfway home. So if yes, the graph might be an interval graph, but it might not. But when you run the test, you've got a post set. You've got the comparability. You've got the post set in hand. Now you simply turn on the algorithm that we just learned to test whether or not the post set is an interval order. If no, then the graph is not an interval graph. If yes, it is. And you just found the interval representation. So it's, it's piecing two algorithms together, that's how we settle.